Bonjour Malta and Goes On this Tuesday morning. I'm Michael Caden and these are the top stories of the last 24 hours. Mark Camilleri has been cleared of insulting and threatening Rosie Kutaya. The judge in the PN's hospital steel case has recused himself. The annual inflation remained consistent at 3.6% in December and Gaza monologues raised more than 3,000 euros. Author and journalist Mark Camilleri has been acquitted of insulting and threatening MP Rosie Kutaya in comments on Facebook. In October 2021, Camilleri claimed that Kutaya was a liar and totally corrupt and warned that he would become her worst nightmare unless she resigned from politics completely. Following a report filed by Kutaya over those comments, the cybercrime unit pressed charges against the former National Book Council chairman. Camilleri faced charges under the Article 3391E of the Criminal Code, a contraventional offense related to the words, gestures and writings directed by one person against another. The court said that the offense under the article that Camilleri was charged with was limited to insults and threats that remained between the parties concerned. After delivering her conclusions, Magistrate Gregg proceeded to acquit Camilleri of the charge. Lawyer Joseph Mitzi was counsel to Mark Camilleri, while lawyers Edward Gatt and Mark Vassallo appeared parte civile for Rosie and Kutaya. Judge Giovanni Grishti has recused himself from the PN's case to get the state advocate to recover public funds defrauded in the hospital steal. Judge Grishti delivered a decree in chambers explaining why he would be abstaining. His partner, lawyer Yannicka Bujeya, had been appointed to represent one of Stewart Healthcare's Maltese companies as a curator in a separate case. Bujeya represented Stuart Malta Assets Limited on a deed of rescission of ground rent for land related to the hospitals. On Monday morning, the judge was actually expected to deliver a decree stating whether the government and cabinet were authorized to intervene in the suit. The judge said he had learned of his partner's involvement one day before the contract of recession was signed last Friday. His partner's appointment as curator gave rise to a situation which impeded him from continuing to preside over the case, he declared. Grishti said this was in line with the established principle that justice must not only be done, but must be seen to be done. The National Statistics Office has reported that Malta's annual inflation rate in December remained consistent at 3.6%. The highest rate was once again recorded in the food category, 8.7%. And maybe you've noticed that particularly the prices of vegetables have increased. Within the food category, food excluding restaurants and takeaways registered an annual rate of 9.2%. The lowest annual inflation rates were observed in the categories transport and communication, minus 1.4%, and clothing and footwear, minus 1%. The Gaza monologues were brought to the stage in Malta last weekend in order to raise funds in support of Palestinian children dealing with the trauma of war. The initiative by producer Tony Attard and director Jean-Marc Caffer brought together seven renowned actors in a rehearsed reading of personal stories of children living in Gaza. In a way, it's shocking to see the same stories, the same situations, in a way from 2010, 14, repeat themselves years later. And these human stories, these, these, it seems that nothing has changed and equally so nothing has changed the past 70 years or so for, for the people in, in Palestine and, and, and especially in, in Gaza and, and, and what we've seen in the past months. Uh, it brings, especially for, for children and, and young people, and these are st their stories. Um, and this is a, a global project that has been happening over these, these years. And, and we're, we're happy that we, we've managed in a very few days, so to speak, bring together uh, these amazing actors who volunteered uh, in uh, just a few seconds, you know, they said yes. The Gaza Monologues is an international project by Ashta Theatre advocating for the rights of children in Gaza. The monologues, written in 2010, have been performed across 80 cities in 40 countries. All donations collected are going to Al Harach Theatre, enabling drama therapy sessions to children in the Bethlehem area. The performances at Spazio Creative were all sold out and the team has collected more than 3,000 euros. On Christmas Eve, I, I was on a, on a conversation with, with the artistic director of, of the theater company. And, and immediately, together with Jean-Marc, we said, you know, what, what can we do? It's the only thing we can actually do is, is use our resources and the people we, we know to create something um, to really make some form of a difference on the ground uh, with children and young people. 
and the group decided to keep the fundraising campaign going for another week, you can send your donation on gogetfunding.com. The weather today, windy and up to 15 degrees. Have a lovely day.